So first, come on. It's not going to hurt, come on. I'm telling you. Just take it easy. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. 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 Come on, Seatbelts. Right. Mickey Eiston, sorry. Trevor Darling. Oh, you're Trevor Darling. Yeah, I'm Trevor Darling. What about it? <laughs> Nothing. That's very right. Comfy? Did you read the autopsy report? No. 
Cut off his cock with a pair of garden shears. Hacked it right off at the base. Found it in the ashtray. Jeez, I'd love a cigarette. Hey, listen, where is Quan Long anyway? What branch were you within Sydney? Vice? No. Consorting? No. You're from North Sydney branch, all right? Mm. You're like parking meters. I've seen you. Do you go out much? Around North Sydney? Do you go to Sheila's? It's in North Sydney, it's great. Yeah, I've seen you around North Sydney, booking people. You've got a brown V-dub, haven't you? Haven't you? No, so I haven't you? got a brown V-dub. I've got a red Celica. I've never met you before in my life. I've been in the four six months. I'm studying law part-time at uni. I'm engaged to a solicitor and I don't want to fuck you. Oh, yeah. So do you want to come and have a drink? No, thank you. I don't drink on duty. I'll bet you'd like to come and have a drink. Of course I'm serious. She's a dangerous woman. I'm going inside for a drink. You want to come in? How dare you do this! Absolutely no fucking right to tie her up to a tap. She's a murderer. I've got every right to tie her to a tap. She's a dangerous bong. What do you think I should have that's done? That's it, isn't it? What do you think I should no, have done? No, that's it, isn't it? You've just got it in for blacks. What do you think I should have done? Brought her in here and attached her to a stool, whereby she could have clouded you over the fucking head with it, which wouldn't have pissed me off one bit. 
Now, if you don't go and sit in the car, I'll handcuff you to the swing. Would you like a drink? You're a maniac. Two. Look. Just give me the keys and I'll go and sit her in the car with me and we can just forget it, OK? I don't care how long you're going to take in here. I'm going to be five minutes. I'm yeah. going to have a drink of beer. She's a really dangerous criminal and I don't think putting her in the car with you is a safe option. Do you hear me? You're a probationary officer. Right, bring the car around here. Now, you keep still. If you're going to play like this, we're going to have to play like this, and I don't want to have to do that, OK? You just settle down. Just settle down. Chips, ham and chips, sausages and chips. It's not fried, it's over chips. I'm going to be salad. <laughs> what are you worried about? Getting fat? What's this? Calorie bill. What do you do? Add them all up. Can I have a See how much you're eating. Can I have a place? That's really stupid. How much do lifesavers weigh? Hey? I don't know what you're worried about. Some people are just destined to be fat. I've got an auntie that's really fat. I've worked, oh, you're... I've worked with really fat policemen. I don't think it's a big issue, you know. I think it's an absolute waste of time. How much up? You're a pig. Order a truffle. Thank you. How are you? I'll take your order now. Right. Is the fish fresh? Yep. I might try. <laughs> How can coral trout be fresh when we're in the middle of the desert? It's frozen. Exactly so it's not fresh. Of course it's fresh. It's a special dip. I might try it. Where's the fridge? Remember the eggs. I'll be back in a minute. I'll have the chicken salad. Chicken's frozen too. Should have booked the bitch. What for? Intending to give birth? You enjoyed it, didn't you? Did you hear her? She was so rude. But she's having a baby. She's probably got a few problems. I, mean, I don't just... give a damn what she's having or what she's not having. She'd have to speak to me like that, OK? It's exactly just the point. Just because you're in a uniform, it doesn't give you the right to act like a piece of oh, shit that's two rich inches by one inch. You. That is rich. Listen, you want to put that out? The food will be here soon. Hmm? You want me to put my cigarette out while yes. you eat? Yes. Is that too much to ask? You know, we stand a 30% higher risk of getting lung cancer because of you. I read it in Reader's Digest. I see. Do you realise 30% of the police that listen to 40% of the shit, that 20% of the force spill out like you end up 90% of the state's mental institutions with their brains sawed in half? Finished? No, you're an officious little turd, and I wish you'd just hold your mouth until the end of this thing's over, right? Just try and act with a bit of cool. We just want to get through this the simplest and easiest way with the least shit possible. Have you got me? I want to go to the toilet. Do you want me to take you? Come on. If we had time, I would.
Right, we're all fixed up. There's been a bit of a hitch. We can only get the one room. That's bullshit. The vacancy sign was on. Yeah, but apparently she's expecting a bus in late tonight, so I just, you know, just to make it easy, I just took the one room. But apparently it's very nice and there's a few beds there, so we'll just... I suppose we'll have to rough it. Nobody said the police force was easy, Nicky. What are you reading? Studying. What are you studying? I told you what I was studying. What, fairy stories or what? You're studying for law at the university. Yes, you're studying. I'm studying law. And what are you smoking? Gee, you're a fun girl. I'm smoking dope. I used to be in the okay. drug squad. I didn't smoke dope before I joined the drug squad. But now I smoke it, you know. It was compulsory. I think you better put it out. Well, what, what's the point in putting it out? Well, come on, how's it going to look if we get busted, hey? Two cops on, on, on drug We're charges. We're not going to get busted. I'm a policeman. If anybody comes through the door, I just point my gun to their head and I put my joint in my mouth and I say, stick them up. I'm a policeman. Now what's going on? He says. What are you doing? Stuffing up this. Jesus, Freud would love you. Is Kath asleep? Yep. You want a cigarette? I've given up. Well, look, you stuffed the door. You may as well have a cigarette now. Nobody's going to know. I'm only having half. Which half are you going to have? <laughs> Jeez, what a long day. Well, good morning, Constable Icebox. How was it? It's the fish food. Oh, yes, I might just have half a cigarette. Uh, where is Guandong anyway? Where is Trevor? Here we go. to wake up. What? Jesus, you're hard to wake up. Oh, God, I'm You've got to watch her. I'm going to bed. Is that all right with you? I'm sorry. I filled in a breakfast cake on thing. Mm. I've ordered you a toasted news thing.
carry over champion, Scotty Campbell, is only 15 points away from winning Kiss. the grand prize. And this final group of holiday our stick I'm holding is Australia's oldest musical instrument. It's a didgeridoo. Now, who can play the didgeridoo? Scotty? Hey. Did you sleep okay? In Australia we've got some great expressions. One of them is there's no flies on me. Where are you from? There's no flies on me. Up north? Uh you've driven the air guard. No it doesn't, and now there's some flies on you. Mission. Got any kids? Got any family? Have you got any family? How did you sleep? Alright. Where are you from? Up north. Townsville? Cairns? Catherine? Palm Islands? Yeah, right. Kids? Yes. Old man? He died. Yeah, well, we all get blown away at one time or another. Have you ever been in trouble with the police before? No. Not a pretty business, is it? Can I have these handcuffs off, please? I want to go to the bathroom. Yeah, all right. I might be able to organise that for you. I'll just have to check if it's free. Just hang on a minute. Where are we going? This way. We're supposed to stay on the main road. Yeah, I know we're supposed to stay on the main road. We're supposed to keep our shirts done up to here, but like it's hot and that's a shortcut. It'll save us two days. Give me a look at the map. No, I don't need to give you a look at the map. I'm in charge. But look, you can see it for yourself. It'll save us two days if we go there, right? It saves us that much. That's what we're doing, so just sit back, Icebox, and put your belt on, will you? What's happening? 
We've got a flat tyre, haven't we? An intent to kill may be a premeditated intent, that is to say an intent existing anterior to the conduct or act which is put forward as provocation. It's not fair. What's not fair? The law. Ah. And what is fair? Payback. What? Payback. Payback? That's payback. That's Aboriginal law. If you do something wrong, then you get paid back. Maybe a spear in the leg. Maybe Kadacha man. Now what are we supposed to do? Huh? I told you to stay on the main road. I told you not to take this fucking dirt road. You think you know everything, don't you? I'm fucking sick of it. It's 100 k's back the other way. It's 100 k's up ahead. Where are we supposed to go? gonna have to wait here.
So what are we gonna do? We can't split the group up, can we? Obviously not. Right. Well, we could all sleep in the back seat. Oh, come on, right. be serious. All right, you two sleep in the front seat. I take some rest in the back seat or I can keep watch. There's an old place about half a mile up ahead. I found your master bedroom. Garden's coming on. What do you want for tea? Patterson's curse? Come on, it's hot and I'm thirsty. Well, so am I. Come over here, you can lick the sweat off me forehead. Did you bring any drinks with you? No. There's none left. Great, 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 great. So what are we going to do out here? We've got nothing to drink. We've got no food. What about the water from the wipers? Why didn't you think of that, Eistern? Not bad, Kath. So that's two good ideas you've had. You won't get off any easier, you know. Right. Eistern, I'm going to be ten minutes. So just try not do anything stupid, eh? Is there anything else you want from the car?
Mm. Oh, and Jack Nicholson. Oh. oh, yeah, I've seen Jack Nicholson. He was in... Um... He's a Taurus. I didn't see Taurus. He was in... Um... I've had enough dinner, Mum. What are you reading? Oh, shut up, I'm studying. Oh, shut up, I'm studying. What a vacation this has turned out to be, Gloria. You should be studying on how to survive for the night. What's the point an exam going to do you? Hey? It means something to me, OK? Bullshit. Doesn't mean fucking anything. Here or back there. At this point, we mightn't even get back. Do you realise that? Look at where I am. Ten good years I've given to this fucking force, and look at me up shit creek. Driving you two around. Jesus, look up Kwandong, would you, Trevor? Fuck. It's all bullshit. All that fucking shit. Absolutely pointless. You might as well just throw the book in the shit house. Does you no good out here? What do you think? It's great. It's a bit of a bean bag, but Where'd it'll you be. Where'd you find it? Over there. Oh, it's so soft. There's your bed. Here's yours. How many pillows do you want? Can I have these off tonight? No. Well, it's not really in the box. I won't be going anywhere. I know you won't be going anywhere. That's because I'm not taking those off you, for one. I mean, what do you think? I am a complete jerk. I'm going to leave those on you, and you're going to sleep like that. You're comfortable enough. I've found your wall. What else do you want? Einstein, are you happy? Yeah, I'm only staying on. Right. Where are you going to sleep? I'll sleep over here. Sorry. They're the rules. Right. Good night.
Good morning, girls. <coughs> Have we got any fantails left? Oh, I'm starving. What are we going to eat for breakfast then, Nicky? Nothing. How about fish? Very yeah, great. Where's the shop? There's a water hole over there. What sort of birds are they? Tweeters. White cockatoos. Mm. They're supposed to be fishing there. So how are we going to catch it? You can use your stockings. What? Like how do we use our stockings? Take off your stockings. I oh, yeah, use it right. Like a net. Yeah. Mm. It's not a bad idea. And you can beat the water for me. Yeah. Okay. These are going to have to come off. <laughs> oh, come off it. Well, how's she supposed to do all that with those in it? They manage. Come on, Ashton, take them off it. Don't be so bloody pedantic. Sorry. I can watch it. Are you going to take them off her, or aren't we going to have breakfast? Put it at the entrance to the creek, to the mountains. Jesus, the Wright brothers go fishing. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see, right. Don't break it. Well, dig in. That was its head. Is that a car? And missed him. Hey. What? What did happen with that Aboriginal kid? Do you read the papers? Mm-hmm. Well, you should know. I just want to hear what you've got to say about it, that's all. Do 
Do you want to come for a swim, Kath? Did you really kill that kid? It's Sydney, right? I've got a partner. We go out there to this property, we do this bust. Run of the mill stuff, you know. Do them every week. This Aboriginal kid, big fight, lots of dust. What's a freeze? You, over there, up the wall, you know, lots of that shit. I don't mind it as a rule. But this, about this Aboriginal kid got blown away. I got pinned for it. That happened in front of my eyes, like he was here. My partner was in on the dope bust, right? He's making a fortune. Then he blows him away in front of my eyes. So this big shit, you know, big stink. The police commissioner was coming up for an election. He didn't want any shit going down. So they put me in uniform. So I took that. They gave me a chauffeur's hat. They gave me Iceton. And you? And, uh, I'm a country show, but things can only go up from here, Kath. Hey, Nicky! Nicky, what's this? Come on! What's this? Come on, Iston. What am I? A yabby. Ice turn. Look.
I don't like it, you know. She should have been back by now, or she should have left us a note. It's probably headed off towards the waterbed. Oh, yeah, that figures. But how do we know that? You can see her tracks in the dirt. Yeah, you're right. I forgot for a minute. <laughs> Pretty good on the old tracks, are you? Give us a hand. Mm, sure. Nikki, what sort of thing is that to do to us? She didn't leave us a note. Got lost. Didn't leave us a note. I'm sorry. You can thank her. Thanks. You're not smoking joints again, are you? Want thirty percent of this? No. Who's gonna bust us out here? Come on, Constable Icehouse. Just try it. Probably won't affect you. First try and all that. <coughs> okay. <coughs> this is Nandy. Yeah, Nandy. No, Yandy. Mm. Yandy. Yandy. No, Yandy. It's Nandy. I oh, know it's Nandy. There's a spaghetti called Nandy. Oh, no, she hates a puff. You. Uptown boom nigga girl. She'll be sentenced to a period of not less than two years. You shall hang by your nostrils until you are white. As for you, Constable Trevor, you shall hang by your tonsils until you are Catholic.
come on. Let's see you do something. <coughs> What's that? I'll just have the half. I can't get it. Oh, come on. Look, more like this. Get out of the way. You see? You see? That's, That's the exactly way. Exactly what I did. It's not. It's it not. Is. You were going like you were going, you know. No, I'll show you how to do it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, centering the criminal starring in her first appearance in our show. There you go. <laughs> I like that bit. <laughs> Whoa. So what'd you do it, Kath? I didn't do it. Was... So what happened? I was working as a barman. Yeah. Yeah. The publican. He was touching me. Tried to feel you up. Well, it can happen, you know. I mean, you must have, to a certain degree, known that that was going to go along with the job. Oh, come that on. man tried to rape me. What happened? Then his wife came home. What, his wife came in while it was happening? Hmm. And what happened? Hmm? She gave me a hundred dollars and told me to go to Sydney. Well, if he didn't do it, how come you went to Sydney? Well, what would you do, Ashton, if you were in her position and somebody gave you a hundred dollars? You'd go to Sydney, wouldn't you? If I was innocent, I'd stay there and well, I'd... Well, it's not going to look too good for her. I mean, what are her chances of convincing Okay, they're the not court? very good, but if I was innocent, then I would stay. You're not the same people, Boston. Cat! 
Cass? 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 Go on, huh? Get off me, face iceberg. If you hadn't screwed her last night, none of this would have happened. Screwing her last night had nothing to do with it one way or the other. She had to have been hanging around for something. If she hadn't wanted it, she would have run around yesterday. Jealousy's a curse, mate. Oh, bullshit! Just keep looking, Iceton. We might see a kid I'm sorry, Nikki. I blew it. We both blew it. She didn't have a chance. Of course she'd run. I would have done the same thing. She had me sucked in. This is the last cigarette. Do you want half? Yes, All right. Please. This was a um a gift from my father. I think it was meant to inspire me. Have a look. Deal dope? Eh? It's a barrister. Mm. Mm. It was a present for my 21st. All right. This goes in here. Mm-hmm. And these go. Well. Put your father on that side. And we'll put the fiance on this side. <laughs> well, what do you know? The fiance weighs more than the father. I thought your father would have been a pretty heavy cat. Mm. Do you want them? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, great. Thanks. It's OK.
I don't think I'm doing the right thing. I don't want to be caught. You don't want to be a police person? Lieutenant Iston, the profession of all chosen professions, that golden opportunity to wear a gun and a uniform and to say to people, you there, hold a moment. This won't take long. <laughs> Step aside, keep on the curb. <laughs> Come on, how could you give up an opportunity like that? I know what you mean. See, the cop thing was something that was coupled with my law, you know. I did, I did the... I didn't get the marks for law. So I went to university, passed with flying colours, and I moved on into law. Then I thought, oh... Well, I thought the force was... I thought it was important, and I thought good people should be doing it. And I felt I was a good person. So I thought, if I don't do it, if I don't take the chance and do it, I can't expect anybody else who is good to do it, so I did it. But... It doesn't help people, and... And I don't think law does either, basically. I want to help people. And I think Kathy's innocent. Who's your pig? Calories on there for you? Just. I think I've been thinking if you eat that, I might have to strap you to the roof rack. Half fast condom. Just half fast. Where is Kwandong anyway? About an hour and a half. That way. What have you got in mind? I just... You just what? I just think it would be worth going out there and having a look. What's the point in doing that? Just half a day, we'll just go out there. I just, I just want to see this woman. I just want to see her. The proprietor's missus. But like we've been gone, like we've been gone too long now, you know? We're supposed to be a country escort, Nikki. All right. We'll go out there, right? And we'll interview the woman. I repeat, we will interview the woman. That's all we'll do. Good.
G'day. G'day. What are you doing at this way? Got a bit lost. Yeah? Yeah, we're just on the way back to um, New South. Well, what are you coming out at this way for? I stopped off for a drink, eh? Yeah? Yeah. Pretty hot one today, mate. Oof. Yeah, that's all you pig ever do. I think you're doing a good job. You don't get much chance out, out here when you're working inside all day. No, it must be hard. Oh, yeah. Must be, it must be even harder now that uh, Don's gone. You have to still keep battling on. What about the workload? It must be enormous. Oh, you take the good with the bad, and the bad with the good. You're going to have someone staying with you now that you're alive? Oh, just my son and myself. We were that long, as normal. You don't get um, depressed or anything out here, do you, Mrs Smith? Oh, now and again it gets a little bit boring. Gets on your back? Oh, not really. There's always somebody coming in, you know, that keeps your mind occupied. The Aboriginal girl that you had working for you, she was a nice girl, was she? Yeah, very nice. I only wish I could employ another dozen like her. Yeah. But she was a bit sloppy about the pulling the beer. Yeah. I lost a lot of beer. What with the customers? Yeah. Wasn't a wasn't like a flirtatious sort of girl, was she? Well, she didn't seem to be that type. No. Anyhow, I'm a little bit busy. I have to rush off and. She didn't um, like she didn't lead your husband on or anything that you know. No, about. she didn't give me that impression. And right. I, and I have to go and get the next slide. Well, look, if we could just talk to you for a little bit longer, oh, I'm sure we could. Uh, later, later on, if you wish. It won't take up much of your time. I'm, I'm a little bit busy. I've got a lot of work to do. Mrs. Smith. Uh, is there somewhere private that we could have a chat, Mrs. Smith? Maybe later on. Just for a couple of minutes, you know, just a little chat. Maybe later on. I'll have to get this done before more customers come into the bar. I reckon she's nervous. I reckon she's... She's Lulu. I didn't like the way she backed away from us, man. Brent. Who would you rather meet in a dark lane? Her or Kath? Jeez. So what are we going to do? We're not just going to sit around here sunbaking, I can tell you that. OK, so what are we going to do? <coughs> Before we go... We're going to get a confession from her. You'd hereby pick up a pair of garden shears formerly housed behind the bar and proceeded to chop off his penis. Cut off his penis with the garden shears. Heiston, what's wrong? Why aren't you typing? This is wrong. This is life, honey. Picked up a pair of garden shears. Look, I was in the drug squad, baby. This is run of the mill to me. This is like point duty. Do you know how many times this goes on in the big smoke? All right, let's do it. I hereby make this confession without any pressure from the police involved and totally of my own admission. Signed, Mrs Don Smith. She signs that, we've got it. Did you pack those scales that you gave me? They were a gift. Well, I haven't got them, have you got them? Of course not. Oh, it's a, no, it's all right, they're back at the shed. We can get those, that's a nice way. Right. Grab this, Austin. Welcome to the force. Mrs. Smith, what time did you approximately leave for church? About half past six in the evening. That's correct. It says here on the report that you didn't return from church. 
until approximately quarter to eleven. I return at about half past ten. It's a hell of a long time to be at church, Mrs. Smith. Oh, some of these services take a long time. Mrs. Smith, unfortunately for you, there's some forensic evidence. Yeah? Has been uncovered. Unfortunately, it places you in the position of looking like you had something to do with the murder. How, how could I have anything to do with the murder? Mr. I... Smith, I must ask you at this point where the gloves are that you were wearing to church that evening. They are oh. white cotton gloves, is that correct? Yes, I haven't got them anymore though. And what happened to them? I don't know, they got lost. Well, you see, Mr. Smith, we have some forensic evidence, some new evidence come through, and uh, the evidence shows us quite clearly that a, um, a white cotton thread from the gloves you were wearing was found in the garden chairs. And it has it's been got matched. Nothing, it's got nothing to do with me, my husband, and that black barmaid, he deserved everything he got. Mrs. Smith, we have a confession written out here that we'd just like you to sign. It's very, very easy. Mrs. And Smith. She, and she deserves everything that's coming. To her. I hope she gets bloody hung. Mrs. Smith, if I could just have your attention for a moment. If we prove by the white thread that you killed your husband, it's fucking life, baby. It's life. There's no baby. way you can prove it. We've got forensic evidence. You've got nothing that will hold in court that I murdered my husband. It was that black. Bitch. That won't hold in court, baby, and you know it. You've got the thread caught in the shears. She's got nothing. She's just fucking black! I don't... That's all she fucking did! And if you don't sign that fucking thing, there's gonna be real fucking well, shit! Well, I won't sign. And you can't prove it. There's no way in the wide open world that it'll ever hold up in court. I'm not scared of guns, eh? A little bit frightened. Scared of jail, baby. Yeah. Will you fucking sign that? You want to have this? Just try it. Mr. Smith, I'd like you to accompany us down to the station, please. No way. You drag me there. I'm afraid you've got no fucking choice, baby.
Your husband. 